Hey everyone, Ariel Adams here with a blog to watch. Please subscribe to our videos on YouTube and like this video if you find it useful. This is a review of the Brellum Wyvern Classic Petite Seconds Chronometer. Is that Wyvern? Never quite known how to pronounce that. Wyvern is actually the Brellum logo. Well, one of the Brellum logos. If you look on the crown, there's a different logo, but uh, if you go to their website, you'll see their logo, which is actually sort of a little circular dragon, the Weavern. And this is the first watch to have that name. Now, it's called the Weavern Classic Petite Second Chronometer, and I have a lot of thoughts about that name. I'm not sure that the name fits, because this is a large 42 and a half millimeter wide watch. It's, it's dressy, but it's actually kind of a sports watch in disguise as a dressy, um, as a dressy kind of elegant watch and it, it plays both of those roles in an interesting way and I, I like the watch for that because it is niche and it's not for everyone but I think Bradlam did a good job especially in terms of price of coming with a compelling package that doesn't really look like anything else. There's three different dials and the black one is one of the most legible ones. There's a silver dial one which is cool but they and it uses black loom so it has sort of a neat high contrast look but the loom isn't amazing. The loom is on the hands the counterweight on the seconds hand, a little lollipop style seconds hand, and up here there's two little dots at 12 o'clock. So not an amazing amount of loom, but as you can see in various different conditions, you can see the dial quite well. As a box style sapphire crystal, which means it's rounded the edges there, and there's a lower bezel, but the, the uppermost bezel is the sapphire crystal. It's a little bit of a vintage style look. It's not the biggest box style crystal, but it does the trick. A little bit of glare, but as you can see at various different angles, the dial is still very legible. It's called the Petite Seconds Chronometer because it has a subsidiary seconds hand and the movement is a COSC certified chronometer. So I'm going to turn over the watch and you can see the movement presentation, which is actually quite nicely done. So this movement is an ETA 2895. And the 2895 is known because it has the subsidiary seconds as opposed to the 2892, for example, which does not. There's a custom rotor for Brellum. And what they've done is they've created this external ring that's still under the sapphire crystal that has some text on there. It just says officially certified chronometer. And that makes the case back opening look more appropriate because it's actually larger than the movement is. And another detail that I talk about in the review is you can see out here around the periphery, there's some words that are done in relief engraving, which means it's sort of cut deep. And normally when you would run your finger around these, it would be sharp. But what the supplier did is fill these cavities with some type of a clear lacquer. And so when you move your finger over the back of the case, it's quite smooth, which I thought was really nicely done. Not a screw down crown, but I still think that the case is, it's like water resistance to 50 meters, maybe 100. I can check really quick. It is 100 meters water resistant. I was right the first time, well, the second time. Strap is, actually, before I put the watch on, is nice looking and handsome, but it's thick. It's a very thick, stiff uh, strap. So if you want to wear it um, so it's really, really comfortable, you're going to have to wear it a lot so it gets that bend. Nice, chunky deployant clasp there. Like the use of perlage, there's a little bit more uh, here. I actually wrote a lot in the review that wearing it felt like an IWC because certain IWC dress watches also kind of feel like sport watches, especially given the size. So again, this is 42 and a half millimeters wide in steel. Um, it's about 10 millimeters thick. So it's not, it's, it, you can definitely wear it as a dress watch, but you can see that it's a bolder, more aggressive masculine presence than a lot of dress watches. Price for the Brellum Wyvern classic petite seconds chronometer is $1,480, which take into consideration the relatively limited production, the really good finishing on the case, um, the movement, the fact that it's a chronometer, feels to me like a very fair price. And I like that it's by a brand that uh, is, de is definitely focused on a direct-to-consumer experience, so the prices are reasonable. Other Brellum watches I've reviewed, I've said are great for people that want a good Swiss watch experience, but the designs were a little bit on the generic side. With the Wyvern Classic, I'm starting to see a little bit more design language, which is unique to Brellum, even though it's very classic slash vintage slash retro inspired. So I like this direction they're going in. You can see the full review on a blog to watch. Thanks.